All right, Shalom, <clears throat> giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to the Akinists out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. All right, first and foremost, I want to say to Wadi Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the, uh, you know, the fellow Akim, start from our apostles on down, for giving us, for giving us the opportunity to, to do these videos, these lessons, the opportunity to go out there on the highways and on the hedges, all to edify and warn the nations of Israel which are the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, all right? The true biblical Jews, the Lord's chosen people, all right? The ones the ones that law, statutes, and commandments, as well as the promises were given to, the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? Shalom. <clears throat> so this was a a, a, a a little screenshot that, a, um, you know, the brother, uh, Taz, a warrior in our camp, you know, uh, he had sent this out um, this morning. You know, and, you know, Democrats, you know, introducing landmark bill banning, banning LGBTQ discrimination. Democrat U.S. lawmakers on Thursday, which was yesterday, um, introduced sweeping legislation to prohibit discrimination based on sexual orientation or gender identity. Uh, marking the first step in the in advancing a set of his of historic measures that President Biden has pledged to sign, the Equality Act would amend uh, existing civil rights laws, right, such as the Civil Rights Act of 1940 1964 and the Fair and the Fair Housing Act, the to explicitly ban LGBTQ discrimination. For the workforce, in the workforce, housing, education, credit, jewelry, jewelry, um, service, and other areas of American life. So, you know, you know what I'm noticing, man. You know, first of all, there has never been a such thing as freedom of speech, right? There has never been a such thing as freedom of speech. And my question is, what happened to that? They, are, you know, everybody always talk about civil rights. I got the right to do this. I got the right to do that. But where where did this come from? If I if I said you know a a person has the right to say, right? See in this society a person has the right to say, <clears throat> I want to be a homo, right? I want to be I want to be a flame a flamo, right? That person has the right to say that. So which means I should I should have the I should have the right to say. Well, I don't agree with that. Am I forcing if I'm am I forcing my way on him or her? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Especially in this truth. We don't force you to do a damn thing. And I'm going I'm getting ready to get that in a second, man. You know, another thing, you know, you know this is going toward toward men, you know, talking about talking about, you know, women that we do we we tend to talk about women a lot, but we don't talk about them in a in a malicious type of way. You know, we say, look, the men and women ain't right, man. You know, but when 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 it comes down to to something like this, they always put you women with the LGBTQ community, right? Which prove which should which should mean that this is this should be a shame on y'all, man, on you women. This is this is a shame on you. Right? They're literally polluting you. While us up here, we're trying to we're trying to lead you away from that shit and tell you how to live a better life as a woman or as a man. I'm talking about for, for, for Jake. We try to tell you how to live a better life as a man or a woman. But no, you don't want to do that. You know what you call us? Hate group. You know what else this is leading to? Famine of the word. Famine of the word. The more and more we keep talking about famine of the word, it is stuff like that, like stuff like this keeps happening. This right here is a good thing. This is not a trouble to us. You know, it's not a trouble to us. That's cool because we still going to continue to do the work of the Lord. These bills that they're passing, we got, man, they don't, but these people out here don't realize that this is the Lord's doing, man. 
right? And we're going to continue to do the work of the Lord, man, because only the Lord is going to be able to, to remove us off them corners and throw us in jails and stuff like that. You think I give Esau credit for that shit? No, I don't. No, I don't. You can keep calling this hate groups and things like that. Again, I'm gonna get all that in this in this short in this short video. So without further ado, man, let me get the first scripture. Remember, I mentioned famine of the word, right? Freedom of speech is is is, is long gone, man. Freedom of speech is long gone. This is the book of Amos, chapter eight, verse eleven. This is why we try. This is why we tell you. So-called black Latinos and Native Americans get this word while you can, man. Because they're not about to start banning us from saying certain things. It, you see what they're doing with our channels? My other channel is flagged right now for, for a couple weeks. You know, I think I'll be able to upload next week, but I probably ain't going to use that channel for a while. You know? This is the book of Amos, chapter uh, uh, 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor, nor thirst for water, but but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Shah, right? So, you know, there is definitely going to be a famine of bread. You know, famine of bread and thirst could be many things, man. You know, it could be literal, literal, and it could be, you know, anything else, like um, a famine of entertainment, a famine of, of, of anything. There's going to be a famine of everything. But the reason why I pointed out uh, the famine of hearing the words of the Lord is because that's the biggest famine. Whenever you have, whenever you don't have the Lord on your side, you end up like these people out here. Then every then everything follows suit. Whenever you have the whenever you have the word of the Lord with you, then everything comes through. Everything follows. Everything falls through. Everything comes right along with that. You put on the whole armor of Lord Yahweh by Shemiel Shah, then everything comes along with that. Right. Verse 12, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. That's why we try to tell you, man, you people, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, hurry up and wake up. Right? Hurry up and wake up. But it's only given to a certain few. Let's get that real quick. Now, yesterday um, in the video, I mentioned, you know, parable. I went into a little bit on, on that word parable. Right. And, you know, this is this right here goes right along with with what I'm talking about today. Well, I mean, what, what I'm talking about right like right now, you know, um, because, you know, remember his disciples asked, like you see here, why speak his dollar to them in parables. Right. And, you know, some of these scriptures aren't parables like, you know, the scripture says sodomy is a sin, you know. That's straight up. I mean, it's, it's right there, you know. But the Lord said what? Lord Yahweh Shah said what? Verse 13. I mean, uh, uh, Matthew chapter 13, verse 11. Salakia. Matthew chapter 13, verse 11. It says, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of, of heaven. But to them, it is not given. That's why when you look at, you know, YouTube and our YouTube channels, you know, we're pretty much in, the, in just this box. You know, they just kind of put us in this box and separated us from the rest of social media, which is good, which is good, you know, because, again, it's only given to a certain few, man. That slows all the riffraff from coming in and bringing and bringing in people that legitimately want to learn. So we still going to have some scoffers, you know, that's what we fight. That's what we fight for. I mean, the, the Lord got to send the scoffers, <laughs> you know, to keep our fight going. You know, but that stops all the foolishness from coming in, man, or trying to come in. That stops all the foolishness from entering into your comic boards, or at least most of the foolishness. And that separates us from them. That proves that this this truth is holy. And when you go into holy, it means set apart. That's why it's called the Holy Bible. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six said, I chose the I chose the need to be a special people unto themselves. Right. To, uh, to himself. Chosen need to be a holy people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right? That's why it says that. Right? Now let me get the last scripture because this is also leading to one other thing, too. See, they start to they, they pushing these laws. You know, they pushing these laws and they, they, they buying and signing stuff, signing, 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 signing. Because why? Let's get this. 
This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants uh, of the earth and of the sea, right? For the, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So when we start seeing stuff, more and more stuff like this, we not we not depressed about it. I mean, yeah, it's wicked, you know. <laughs> no doubt. I mean, yeah, it's wicked. You know, but that's the spirit. You see the picture right there? That's exactly what America represents, man. You know? And what's so bad about it, you know, what's so bad about it, I mean, it, it, they represent it on a on a left-hand side. Because what's so bad about it is that the rainbow is actually a good thing. But this this wicked ass society and this devil this wicked ass society managed to take the rainbow and put it towards something that's just downright unnatural, man. You know, a rainbow shows for a reason, man. I just saw one not too long ago. A rainbow shows for a reason. That is natural. But this devil has to take it and turn it into something wicked, man. And now look at it. All these, all these colors, man. You know? Behind the damn capital, man. That's ridiculous. But again, on the left hand side, this is that's that's exactly what this system uh uh stands for, man. You know? So on that, man, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. And, and man, we got to get out of here, man. That's just, that's just that. If stuff like this don't happen, then we'll never get out of here. If this, if, if stuff like, like stuff like this doesn't happen at all, then we'll never get out of here. So this has to come forth. When we pray, when we pray that this place falls, we're asking for more and more wickedness to come upon this place. Stuff like this. This is exactly what we ask for, man. Because that's closer and closer to us getting the getting the hell out of here, man. So on that, shalom.